Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC for the PC, of course, and we are on part 50 of our series. Hooray! <laughs> we are on um, the continuance to our main quest line, and feel free to read the quest log per normal. Now, we're helping our vampire friend Trank down the main vampire that um, was killing people um, that I've been contracted to stop. So here we are in relation to the map, as always. And I stopped here from the quest point because there was a group of, I think, wolves, somethings ahead. And I always want to show you guys some battle. I know you guys want to see that. We're on Death March difficulty, of course. Um, and nothing less. Because that's the only thing that's challenging to me, um, for this game series at least. And I know you guys want to see Death March. Now we got the poison border going on because we're running our Manticore, uh, Wolven Grandmaster Armor set bonuses along with being a tank slash bomb slash DPS, so... It's, it's been an enjoyable build. I'm just not sure on the mutagen I want to use. Uh, here we go. I think they're not going faster. Spiders. Big mama's over there. Come on. Luckily, we can hop around very quickly with things. We might have to use the axe here. Oh crap. Get out of there. There we go. Oh crap, it didn't work. Got a lot of decoctions going on. Come here. Come here, Mr. Jumpy. Oh, you little bastards. Oh my god. Pop the swallow. How am I gonna kill these things? That's such a big spider. Now we have, um, well, now, but uh, when our health is full, we have like 11,000 health points. So just think of what that would have been like um, not having as many hit points. It would have sucked so bad. Oh, there's something under us. Where's the other ones? I want those spider parts. Keep going. Ooh, we got a path in the woods. Is that another spider?
there's a lot of howling going on. I think we're approaching the, uh, oh yeah, the cursed Hard area. Guests. Never a good omen. Show me what you got. Man, awesome. It's like green fire. I love this fast attack build. Just still not sure on that mutagen. Wind chime action. Does, is that just not an awesome haunted house? Music. Reaches says Raven wasn't lying. Spoons all over the place. Is that what those are? Fancy. Quick attack build is so much better. I just don't know how to. I'm gonna have to futz around with figuring out how to do these. I have this whirl attack I'm supposed to be able to use, but holding shift to do it. I don't know if I'm supposed to just hold down the quick attack button. I gotta practice. And like a bazillion decoctions going on. Spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. What do you guys think? game. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall sate you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. What a pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. White's obsessed. Real collector. Thoroughbred. What the hell is a white? I'm sure we're gonna find out. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Spoons everywhere.
realized she was changing into a monster, recorded it in her diary. Poignant. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. Just collecting spoons. Smashed mirror. As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? This is wild. This no spoon man shall wild. save you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. So we're looking for a special spoon, huh? Maybe the monster wants to spoon? The spoon key. Sophisticated crafting. Tag bears a description. White's a true collector. What the hell is this white? Spotted white. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. There's some dead peeps. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It makes sense. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. <laughs> choked to death. Awesome. Well, I feel better. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something heavy. <laughs> right arm bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Ah, that's sick. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. What else did we miss in here? Teeth knocked out, force fed. This is crazy. Looks like we're going downstairs, oh boy. You wouldn't get me going down here. I don't get scared. But I'm not she dumb. She does seem like a white slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. So spotted what is a witch? I guess that that would make sense. It's very witchy. Cauldron I was looking for. Why it's not particularly tidy. spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Am I next on the dinner menu? Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. I guess in the closet. 
Let's go downstairs further though, because there was more. I just hear what's above me. I keep hearing spiders. Witches and spiders go hand to hand. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Thousands of them here. White's been a collector for years. I wonder if it's, it reminds me like it should be bones. But it's, uh, spoons. Gotta, if you're a witch, you gotta have like a pet spider. You know what's in here. Ooh. I guess we'll be coming back. Spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Let's go hide up on the in the in the old closet. Instead of being a brute, I wanted to see how this went. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wanna help. I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. I think I know how to lift it. He's not scared. You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. <laughs> I guess that means set. people, she killed them. I 
witness. Highly toxic. I think it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Yeah, that was a creepy looking thing. I wonder what I just ate. way. How you like that silver? Take you someplace safe. See, if we just killed her, we wouldn't even be able to see any of this. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Oh, back in my house. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. That is wild. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. 
Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Tasty. Mm. So mm. wonderful. She's gonna burn. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Man, that was wild. A witcher. We could use one around here full uh, time. I own the place, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that gameplay. It was quite the quest. So we'll continue on in our main quest line. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, so it looks like we didn't read the bestiarity. Um, we didn't really need to, but it was part of the quest. We failed that part, but I don't. it was optional, so it was not a big deal. So, yeah, we're going to continue on. We're going to go take that uh, saliva back to uh, the uh, Regis, Regis, the vampire buddy of ours, and then continue on. It's weird how that does that sometimes. Anyways, guys, um, if you haven't been on my channel yet, I'd urge to have you go out there, check it out. If you like what you see, click that subscribe button and become part of the channel family. Uh, I always love having you guys uh, join the channel. It makes me feel really good and want to continue to do even more for you guys. So I hope it's this uh, the series has been entertaining thus far. I don't know how much longer we got, but I think we got quite a ways to go because we focused on secondary quests, um, optional side quests prior to doing the main storyline. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, and or donate. And until next time, as always, later.